welcome back to Critterland. Well, I have another final Honeybee Acres purchase, this uh, really cool little VW style van. But first, I have an announcement. I got the tables for Critterland. I've got a four foot, it's kind of small one, and then a six foot uh, to put uh, somewhere. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so stay tuned for those updates. Okay, so here is the Honeybee Acres Around Town van, and this is the last Honeybee Acres item we will be getting, and I'll explain why later. Um, but I thought this would be cool in our Calico Critters, Sylvanian Families uh, critter land here, uh, because if you have watched my previous videos, you know how badly I would love to have the vintage Sylvanian Families VW style bus kind of looks like this, um, and hopefully we will get that in the future, but for now, this is kind of cool. And it was only $10 at Walmart. Yes, $10. <laughs> I, I had it shipped, uh, and the shipping was free, so much cheaper than I would have gotten it from, uh, like, uh, to get the Sylvanian version of it. Okay, so let's open this up and take a look. I'm really curious to see uh, the quality. I don't have super high expectations because I did unbox that kitchen and it had a definite, um, it was a definite downgrade from the Calico Critters. So here with us are the beavers, the little beaver baby and the beaver big brother and traveling bunny and they are going to test drive this uh, vintage style uh, VW style van and we will see how it does in uh, our credit land and I have to say the packaging is really well done these honeybee acres boxes are really cool looking I love them all right so we got that out there's another little thing in the jig and I think I got all the tape here let me try to get this out of here it's I'm gonna rip it <laughs> and I really don't care if I rip this uh, you know I'm not gonna try to salvage all the packaging I'll keep the main box all right so we got this out we got the little picnic accessories and basket but that's really cool let me put that yep there we go there's the top so I think this could actually be repurposed as like a little critter house it's got those windows very fun yeah so, all right, so let's get these, whoa, I uh, am doing this one-handed, and <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, I should have put the tripod up. All right, let's get those out of there. Those look pretty interesting. So right about now, I cut my finger very badly. I had to come back the next day uh, to finish it up, so I'm sorry. I've got a really ugly band-aid on my finger for the rest of the video. I am so sorry. That was a very, very bad cut. It cut down like pretty far. So lesson, do not use knives without a parent. Do not use knives without a parent. Um, all right, so let me get the rest of this stuff out of there and um, Okay, so here we go. Uh, it's weird coming back to this after a day um, unpacking everything and having to leave it sit there and <laughs> deal with my finger. It was gushing blood. Okay, so anyway, this is a really cool looking van, um, I, but it is definitely a lower grade quality than Calico Critters. Although what I've noticed is that Sylvanian families vehicles do tend to be like a lower quality plastic. And uh, so in that sense, it is kind of comparable. Um, I do like that all the doors open. That is very uncommon with Calico Critters. Very uncommon. You're lucky to get one or two doors to open, but most of the time there's no doors that open. This has all four doors, plus it has sliding doors. Um, and then the trunk opens. So it's like, that's cool. And there's a lot of room in the trunk. Now the seats are not removable. Um, that's one thing about Calico Critters that you get a lot of that kind of uh, removability and rearranging you can do, um, but that's not the case with these. If there was anything you could take out or slide out or whatever, it would show it on the package and it doesn't. Um, but I'm very happy with all the opening doors. Okay, so let's get into these accessories. So these are the little, uh, I think they're water bottles. Um, and four plates, four sandwiches. The plates are um, a better quality than the plates that came in the kitchen, so much happier. They're glossier and firmer. They are very thin. And then these sandwiches are nothing to write home about. Um, 
sorry, they're kind of hard to see. They're plastic triangles. This uh, basket is super cool. I love it. Both sides open. It seems to be a good quality plastic. This is probably the most comparable item I have seen to Sylvanian families yet. It does have a flexible um, handle, which is different. Sorry about that Band-Aid in the shot. I, I should have done better about that. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, these water bottles kind of um, are not cool. They just don't stand up. Like, I guess, I don't know what you do with them. The critters can't hold them. Um, maybe the Honeybee Acres critters can hold them. So everything fits well in the picnic basket. You can get all those little sandwiches and plates in there. Um, and again, I really love the look of the basket. So that's one thing I'm happy to have. Um, and uh, we're going to put the beavers and the bunny in the van and give it a drive. We'll put this basket there in the trunk. Very nice. And by the way, that's a cute little license plate. <laughs> okay, here she goes. All right, it looks like she fits. Uh, critters without ears, non-bunnies, would fit better, I think, because they're kind of poking out. Um, but they're, they're forcing her a little bit to the right. Uh, so that's... Uh, but that's okay. She fits. And other critters, I think, would fit better. So let's put the beaver's uh, backpacks in the trunk. And then we will put the little suitcase on the rack. This rack is not removable. It is stuck on there. And I don't know how you could, like, put rubber bands on it. So here's how these sliders work. Um, they don't slide very smoothly, unfortunately. But, hey, for $10, I'll take it. And we will put the uh, beaver brother in the front seat. Isn't he one of the cutest figures ever? Him and the baby. Oh my gosh, I love them. Love him, love him. And there is no car seat for the baby, so he's going to have to just sit there without a car seat. <laughs> it would be cool if they included a car seat, right? Yeah, so that door is... Um, I feel like it's going to be a couple of weeks and they're going to get broken off with the kids opening and closing them. So that's just my prediction. We'll see if I'm right. But yeah, it drives really nice. It's super cute looking. Um, let's compare it to some other vehicles. So you can see it's just a little smaller, uh, a little narrower than these other vehicles. And being a van, I mean, you would want it to be a little bigger, but it's like the same size as a car and a little bit narrower as well. So I guess the best comparison is this uh, family seven seater. Um, and yeah, they're actually kind of roughly the same size and you can, you know, the, the exterior plastic is very much, uh, this, this similar kind of, even on the Sylvanian van, it's kind of cheap. Um, they're all kind of like that. None of the doors open on any of these cars, you know, which, um, kind of stinks. These doors do open. We're missing the uh, back trunk for this one. But you can see the big difference in quality of the seats. Let me just see if that would fit. It really doesn't. So, oh well. But yeah, I mean, much nicer. The, the seats in the seven-seater are removable, and you can open them up and lay them down. Um, so that's different. Uh, I wish the door was on the seven-seater for a better comparison there. Um, but yeah, there they are side by side. So, you know, again, for $10, I think this is a really good value. It's fun for kids. It's a cute design. I like it. Uh, they can uh, roll around Critterland in a little vintage style BW bus. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.